fuck. Uh, what generation gon' do something? Uh, what generation gon' say something? Tell me what's your price of fame. Tell me what's your price of fame. This is a Lion Bond B production. production, production. What's good world, Jesus niggas back, mental rent moment, hashtag pay attention, encourage you to pay attention and think before it becomes illegal. Now, this mental rent moment is going to focus on uh, the new production of Roots. I just got done watching the, uh, the, uh, one of these episodes, but I'll tell you this, these white folks don't get, a, don't get enough of fucking around. They keep fucking around, they keep fucking playing, and keep putting on these damn slave productions, like, uh, uh, what's that, uh, WGN America Underground, I like that show, they keep putting on productions like Roots, and, and 12 Years of Slave, and yeah, some people say it might be like a white, uh, hero or savior in, in the end, or whatever the case may be, yeah, whatever, but... I'm looking at a bunch of uh, uh, my ancestors or, or ancestral portrayals that are quite damn inspirational. I ain't gonna fucking lie to you. Like, um, and for those of us, some young people who, who haven't read some slave narratives, who haven't um, paid attention to their history, that particular part of that history, um, I think being able to see such uh, vivid and detailed portrayals of what happened back in those days um, or, or really give you a greater sense of the, the kind of situation that we're in now and, and why uh, the dominant society and these white supremacists treat us the way that they do. Now, for those people um, who look like me, um, who say that uh, this ain't our history and why they always putting this slave stuff on, well, this slave stuff sells, right? And it is our history. If you're an African person, black person, melanated person, or whatever, born in America, like, chances are, just chances, right? Chances are your ancestors were brought here um, unwillingly um, on a damn slave ship and were to survive, you know what I'm saying, that middle passage, right? Um, so we are descendants of survivors. That's all That's all we've been doing ever since we got here has just been um, surviving, you feel me, and, and trying to figure out a way that we could go from surviving until thriving in the hells of North America and in parts of South America and the Caribbean. Now, with this root stuff, like I said, these white folks don't get enough. They gonna get enough. They gonna get enough because somewhere there's some little boy or girl, right, who's looking at this and who is inspired, right, and who's seeing how these European Americans was treating our ancestors, right, and they ain't gonna like it, right? They gonna have all these questions. They gonna have all this energy and this animosity, and they ain't gonna know what to do with it, right? And if it's not directed, or if it is directed, right, who knows what that can foster into? You see what I'm saying? So a lot of people were saying boycott Roots, and they ain't watching Roots, but at the same time, you gotta understand, the original version was made such a long time ago that it, it doesn't um, connect with this generation, right? They, they have contemporary actors, um, musicians um, playing really significant roles in this docu-series. And yeah, um, the dominant society is, is cashing in on this series. And yeah, they keep putting this stuff in front of us. But watch, I'm telling you, they don't get enough of putting this stuff in front of us because we going to get to looking like, damn, yeah, that was... Um, that was foul how they did us, to say the least. I'm just being polite. That was that was pretty fucking foul. You know what I'm saying? Like, the, you know they say all cultures and people have, have been through slavery at some point in time in history. Um, but let's be honest. There's no documented history that even comes close um, to what people of African descent have had to endure here in the health of North America, South America, and in the Caribbean. There's just no comparison. Um, at all did that type of slavery we had to endure is literally comparing apples and oranges to the work they should invent an entirely new word other than slavery for what we had to endure now aside from that as a man who's about to have a daughter you feel me um I, I need to teach her in the same spirit that Kunta was teaching Kizzy how to defend and protect herself with that warrior spirit you dig what I'm saying um because in this dominant society 
um, she has to know how to defend herself, and it's my duty to instill that in her mind, the same way he was instilling that knowledge of self, and who she is, and where she came from, and that's why it's important that we have these, uh, remakes of these historical, um, depictions of what we have to go through, so that way they resonate with this generation, you feel what I'm saying, um, because not everybody knows the knowledge that some people, uh, that causes some people frustrated by seeing such things like underground and roots on TV repeatedly, you feel what I'm saying? Um, but for me, it inspires me, like I said, it inspires me and still my daughter that knowledge itself so that she doesn't get raped by uh, the dominant society. Um, she, now, she just can't be raped mentally by the media, by, by the dominant culture, um, by what social perceptions may be of her, um, and by certain glass ceilings that the society might try to impose on my child. I have to teach her um, who she is and where she comes from and give her um, that sense of strength so that way she can overcome whatever it is that she has to endure. You dig what I'm saying? So it's things like that that we have to, um, that we have to really um, take from these things when we're watching them on TV. We can't look at them um, with negativity um, with that sort of, sort of perception. I've seen something Snoop Dogg had put out um, basically saying like, uh, fuck this it's old shit. We don't need none of this old shit. Let's talk about the new shit. Well, it's impossible um, to really discuss the new shit that we are on if we don't discuss how we're standing on the shoulders of our ancestors. The Jews don't let go of what the damn Germans did to them and neither should we let go of what the damn European Americans did to us here in the hell's of North America, South America, and in the Caribbean. It just doesn't make sense. We should always hold them accountable for what they did and what they continue to do to us. It's just that fact and whether they make money off it and profit off of it um, or not just says that we need to aggregate our own dollars and, and put out um, that content that Snoop is talking about of um, showing how we are living and prospering in this day and age, but also um, holding truth and remembering that the next generation knows what we had to go through and how we continue to survive in this country because economically those Snoop Dogg situation might be significantly different um the majority of, of African living in America people of African descent um are in no different economic shape if you space it out um than we were at the end of slavery just because we have iPhones and Playstation so yeah man like I said man that whole root series Y'all can say what y'all want. Everybody has their own opinion. But in my personal opinion, I don't see why there can't be room for both. I'm not one of them either or type of cats. But I'm saying people that's like, do you watch Empire? Do you watch Power? Like, fuck, why can't I watch both? Some people like, yo, why are you watching Roots? Why you ain't watching Hidden Colors? First of all, Hidden Colors just came out uh, in theaters first. Then it's going to be available on DVD. It's not available on TV. So it's like comparing apples and oranges when both uh, media are available in different formats. One is on TV, one is in the theater, is on DVD. So why does it have to be a choice? Why can't there be an either or? Why can't we look to the past and see that depiction as we do with a Roots or Underground series or some of these other slave movies and then look to the future like they do at the end of the Hidden Colors film? Because what they do in Hidden Colors is they go through the past, they lay out just straight facts, no opinions, straight facts, then they give solutions at the end of what we can do in the future so i think that's what we need to focus on man instead of just trying to divide everybody and be like oh you shouldn't be watching roots and boycott roots why not why like why why would you not want to watch this how could you not be inspired by watching um the story of our struggle and how we continue to survive in this country african americans if you like to use that term even if you don't like to use that term there is no denying, like I said earlier, nine times out of ten, one of your ancestors came over on that damn slave ship. So it's completely disrespectful to disregard um, their plight, their struggle, and their triumph. You feel me? So, like I said, do what y'all want. But this is Jesus Niggas encouraging y'all to pay attention and think before the shit becomes legal. Make sure you follow, like, share, and subscribe on Facebook, Twitter, SoundCloud, Instagram, Snapchat. All that Tumblr, we on there. Visit the store, mentorrent-more.myshopify.com. That's mentorrent-more.myshopify.com. Make sure y'all stay safe up there.
the streets saying that I'm doing this, saying that I'm doing that. The media gon' try to turn my friends into my enemies. So tell me, is it worth it? Worth it to chase a dream? Cause everybody know life ain't always what it seems. If the only way to make it is you gotta do a sacrifice, well, fucking human sacrifice. I took losses my whole life. Sometimes, man, I couldn't eat nights that I couldn't sleep. Working extra hard just so I could pay the bills. Watching music videos, I started to get jealous. Cause they living out the good life and I'm living for real. Even know. Uh, you don't even know